So let's talk about container type elements. We discussed this briefly in the previous video, but we didn't go into much detail. Uh, so there are many types of containers. The group is the simplest one. It's just gonna kind of cluster things together in a group. We want this set of uh, input or visual elements in a group. We just cluster them together. It, uh, each page has its own hierarchy and structure. Right? And groups just help us kind of make a nice hierarchy. Uh, we have repeating groups, which are a bubble special. It's more for list or a table type of information. It's like if I have a list of things, I'll display them in a repeating group. We have a pop-up. A pop-up is something that just opens up in the modal. It's like pop-up. It's like, okay, we have some extra thank you very much pop-up info or please do this, sign up to this newsletter pop-up. Uh, we have a floating group. Now this uh, group just basically floats above other things. So like a side panel or something that just comes at the bottom right, just like different floating groups like widgets and stuff. Uh, group focus is an interesting special one as well. It's similar to a floating group that it's above things. Uh, but if you click out of it, uh, it just disappears. That's the special thing about group focus overall. All right. So the main element that you really have to structurally understand in Bubble is the group, okay? So uh, there's two main purposes. We gather elements together visually, or we refer to a thing in the database and pass data from parent to child, all right? So a, p a group may be uh, passed some information that various children will inherit. Uh, once we get to the data tab, we'll get clearer as to what we do, but uh, let's say I have uh, a messaging system, okay? And I've passed all the kind of chat messages to the parent group, and then the children elements are actually displaying individual messages. So we have a parent child. We can pass data uh, from between pages. We can fetch data from the back end. We can also pass data to groups as well, okay? So let's do a bit of a live demo. Uh, let's look at the editor. So previously, we had made this simple little UI or all together, but we had not placed them in a group. If you look at the elementary here, it's just that's the page. All elements are here. If I just place them in group elements in a fixed container, so now all of them are in a group. Now I've, I can just move them around. Structurally, they're kind of combined together. Oops, I just extended outside, no worries. So structurally, they're all in one group now. If I had another, I can copy paste a whole group as well, which makes it quite easy. Okay, we have different groups. Uh, structurally, uh, groups are nice uh, to kind of cluster things together, but we can also pass information uh, to the what's the type of content of a group uh, and pass a data source and refer to this information in each child, all right? So uh, let's see, uh, we're gonna go more deep as we go in depth, but it's more like a high level, what's the editor, what are different sections, what are different things, all right? Thank you very much and see you in the next video.